Hey there everybody, it's Lizzie coming at you once again from the interwebs and today I'm going to be making a little text guide for Fire Alpaca. So Fire Alpaca is pretty cool because it's a cool program where you have things like can draw in it and that's cool. But then there's other things you can do too. Like you can very easily make circles using the snap function, same with lines. And then it also has other things like actual shape functions where you can make shape, take off the rounded corner and then there's no rounded corner. There's also other things like the text tool. In Fire Alpaca, what you do is when you get the text tool is that it'll make a new layer for your text and the text will be grabbed with the color that you had selected so if I had black it would be black and you can still change it here but it's a little bit different from your wheel over here and it has a lot of different options this may vary from different computers that you have it on like I think this would mostly look like this because I have a Mac but for the most part it's that's what it's gonna look like and then you have a ton of different fonts you can change your text size line spacing you know kerning and all that bold italic left aligned center aligned all that and then you type and then that's there. Now the thing that people get lost in with the text tool in Fire Alpaca, because so far it's pretty straightforward, is that one, it's on its own layer. I could not draw on this layer because it is a text layer. So I can grab it and stuff. If I want to edit it, I have to double tap it and I can edit the text and that's all fun and cool. But the problem is when you do things like this, this is my Meet the Artist, I just made it. And the problem here is that every single one of these I created using black text. I was like, oh, I'll go in and change them later. But as you can see, from down here in the corner I have a lot of different layers so I would have to go into every single one of these you can also change it by tapping on the layer and going in here and finding the color that I want and I think no no you can't even go in there with your like hex colors so I would have to go in there and somehow find the color that I want and change it that way or I could do a clipping layer so I could go over it clipping change it to the color I want which that's a whole other guide altogether here's something that people don't understand about the text is that there's that where you have to go into every Every single actual layer and then you can't draw anything on the layers. One thing you can do is you can go onto this layer, go up here to layers, go down to convert and convert it to a color layer. So what this does is now when I'm on this layer I can color on it and I can also erase it. So now that has the same properties as any other color layer and if I wanted to convert it back you could convert it back to an 8-bit layer, convert it to a 1-bit layer. That's something that people don't realize is that you can't do anything on a color layer. Color layers and 8-bit layers and 1-bit layers are all very different. So if I were to go down here to another colored layer, I could go like, oh, haha, I'm erasing things. Wow, look, it's erasing. But I could not do that here on this layer because I can't edit it because it's a color layer. That is the guide for Fire Alpaca if you want to make a new text. If you want to make some text, you go down here to the text tool, press anywhere in the screen, pick your font size, pick your text, color, and then this is a very big screen so you can go in here. I have it the highest it is here, but you can keep going with the higher so I can make it this big. And then if you want to edit it, you can go up to the layers, convert the layer to a color layer, and I can I can change it all I want. Thank you very much. If you have any questions about this guide, please leave them in the comment section below. I made this guide because I had a lot of trouble with the text tool in Fire Alpaca. It was really confusing to me, and so I thought that making this little guide would help out beginners in Fire Alpaca. Let me know if you have any questions. If you have any other things to add, feel free to add them in the comment section below for other people to read. And remember to like and subscribe, all that junk. I will see you in the next video.